I am a little scared. I feel like this is gonna be intense, weird, scary. I don't know what I'm in for. And the way people have been talking about it is a lot. So without further ado, let's watch Inside. Okay, already a little bit unnerving. Why do I feel like I'm gonna get jump scared? Okay, I prefer that. All right, getting some like 70s synth pop going on. If you'd have told me a year ago that I'd be locked inside of my home. <laughs> Was this like right at the start of lockdown? Sorry that I look like a mess. <laughs> I feel that. No joke when I was trying to schedule a haircut. I know that like Australia is dealing fine-ish. It's kind of on the rise again, yay. But when I was trying to get my haircut, it was so difficult. It took me literally like a month to get booked in and ready to go. Look, I made you some oh, that's cool. Oh, damn. That's cool. It's a beautiful day to stay inside. <laughs> it's a beautiful day to stay inside is now my life motto. I love that he did it all by himself. Camera test. Wow, this is extremely realistic. This is what I do all the time. I'm already enthralled, man. The flashes between like different stages of him is uh, is really cool. The world is changing. Oh, <laughs> I remember this one. I didn't know this was the first song. Well, I guess second, really. What the fuck is going on? Dude, his vibrato is nice too. I didn't notice that before. Should I leave you alone? Cause really, who's gonna go for joking at a time like this? The first time I listened to this, I was really paying attention to the lyrics, and now I'm just like sitting and listening to how nice his voice sounds. Should I stop trying to be funny? The lighting is like impressive. It still somehow kind of feels and looks like he's on. On stage. If you wake up in a house that's full of smoke, don't panic. Call me and I'll tell you a joke. Love the filtering on the vocals. If you see white men dressed in white cloaks, don't panic. Call me and I'll tell you a joke. The harmonies are lovely. And I love how like chill the delivery is with some of them. Healing the world with comedy. So I'm curious, does he actually is this like spoken and I guess a vlog in between the songs? Or is it just all songs? Hi. Okay, this is what I was expecting. I decided to uh, try to make a new special for real. I like this angle. I didn't think about it going into like a uh, mirror. It's just uh, me and my camera and you and your screen uh, the way that, that, that our Lord intended. <laughs> His humor feels so much more dry <laughs> about the audience. All right, and a bit more poppy, huh? Cool chord progression. Going back down was a nice choice. Makes it sound very yeah. melancholy. These 40 minutes are essential. I'm a FaceTime with my mom tonight. This is actually like really cute. I'll waste my time FaceTiming with my mom. <laughs> it's like the stages of frustration. My mother's covering her camera. The fact that like I can tell exactly how this conversation is going. FaceTiming with my mom. Already different vibes coming from all these songs, hey. Hey kids. Oh, I've heard this one as well in the previous video. The world that's around us is pretty amazing, but how does it work? How smooth he is on the piano is so nice. A bee drinks from a flower and leaves with its pollen. Oh man, watching this a second time, I just realized the Madonna mic is there to give like a uh, literally singing to kids vibe. It's like, I don't know, the wiggles or something. Don't you know the world is built? <laughs> Still so true. The FBI killed Martin Luther King. Private property is inherently theft. I just love how Bo is essentially smiling politely and pretending to get along. <laughs> and then silences him anyway. Hello, my name is Bo Burnham, and I am a former comedian <laughs> turned social <laughs> consultant. First off, the man bun. Second off, the editing is on point for exactly these kinds of videos. Consumers want to know, are you willing to use your brand awareness to affect positive social change? 
which will create more brand awareness. <laughs> oh my God, I've met so many people like this. It's so frustrating already. The question is no longer, do you want to buy Wheat Thins, for example? Oh my God, there's a reprise of healing the world through comedy. It was like an orchestral reprise where it's doing the same thing, but like do 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 with violins. Listen, hold on. Do you want to buy Wheat Thins, for example? That's so cool. You can roll up your sleeves and get to work. It's always fascinating hearing people like this talk because it's like you are saying nothing <laughs> at all of substance. Love the outfit, no idea where it's going. <laughs> I've heard so much about this song. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Dude, this is like every Instagram lounge at VidCon. Hey, I did that for the 100k photo! <laughs> Dude, he's pulling off these looks though. White woman's Instagram. Loved that. Absolutely loved every second of that. That was so good. I think especially because like everyone who watches that will be like, oh, I know exactly who he's talking about. Dude, more 70 cents. Oh, <laughs> Is this a call out of billionaires? I'm here. <laughs> God, Bo is so good with lyrics. A solo? Hell yeah. So like outside of the sentiment of these songs, these are kind of slapping. Oh, what the hell am I watching? I just love that. Hey, hey. Another night on my own, yeah. Stuck in my home, yeah. <laughs> Sitting alone, one hand on my dick and one hand on my phone. <laughs> this has such a flow to it, though, man. Unironically. Like this could literally be in my playlist that I would jam to it. Oh God, do you know how dirty your phone is? Hey everybody, um, <laughs> I just wanted to make a really quick video to say. Thank you. Thank you for watching my content. What's the knife for, fam? Right, guys, see you later. Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. Okay, I was expecting something. Big fucking breath. It's cool seeing the like behind the scenes of it in between. By telling jokes, making little sounds of <laughs> I'm just so like enthralled by him when he sings like this. It feels really intimate. Now come out with your hands up, we've got you surrounded. <laughs> Yeah, I feel that. Always, always one more take, right? Okay, intense. Oh wow, he's looking at his old stuff. Why do I feel a sense of existential dread? Oh shit, okay. Fire! Hell yeah! I started doing comedy when I was just a sheltered kid. I wrote offensive shit and I said it. Is this him like acknowledging some stuff he'd said before? Problematic. He's a problem. I love him like calling himself out. Father, please forgive me for I did not realize what I did. Or that I lived to regret it. Those lyrics feel like a little bit of a commentary on the idea of people like not being sorry they did it, but being sorry they got caught. Like if in your apology you're talking about how, oh, I didn't think this had come up or whatever, that's just you being sorry you got caught, right? Not actually apologizing for saying or doing something offensive. Cool harmonies again, man. Again, I love the behind the scenes. It's just like 90% of what filmmaking is. Oh god. 
That was such a real reaction. That could not have been scripted, right? I've been working on this special now for six months. Wow. Again, I love the flashbacks. I wanted to finish this before I turned 30 because the idea of, of turning 30 while still in this fucking room, I just, I just wanted to avoid that. This feels very raw. I turned 30 in less than a minute. So I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy uh, my 20s. Well, I'm absolutely gonna do this when I turn 30. Man. Yay. <laughs> I used to run for miles. I used to ride my bike. I used to wake up with a smile. Is this another one that's going to give me an existential crisis? Now I'm turning 30. The light design is so good, dude. And it's wild he did it all himself. When he was 27. My granddad fought in Vietnam. You know what's a wild thing that like always throws me for an existential loop? My grandma, when she was 18, got married. And when she was, I think, 21? Had her first child. And then had like four more. And I never know what to do with that information. But all I know is it makes me feel really weird. And when I think about the fact that people were like my age or younger than me and fighting wars, it is wild. The concept of time is weird and scary. <laughs> <laughs> it's a choice to do this in underwear, but I respect it. God, that hit a little too much for me. <laughs> I just want to say for the record um, that I do not want to kill myself. Okay? <laughs> I don't want to kill myself, and I'm not going to kill myself. Full disclosure here, and this will get a little real. As I said before, the concept of time passing scares the absolute bejesus out of me. Like, you would not believe how terrifying I find it. And the reason I said, oh yeah, that's I relate to that, is that, like, the concept of being older is so foreign to me that there are times where I'm like, oh, when I'm 40, it's fine. I always have the option to just kill myself, right? And the thing that always brings me back is like five years ago, I was terrified of what my life would be in five years and how I would be in five years. And 10 years ago, I was even more terrified of 10 years into the future. And now this is just another layer of that, right? It's me being scared of, of what's in store four, five, six, 10, 20 years in the future. And it's natural to freak out about that, but just know that you've been scared about being where you are now before and it's fine. Also not gonna kill myself, just saying. How are you feeling? Do you like the show? <laughs> are you tired of it? Never mind, I don't wanna know. <laughs> I'm really not. I'm really weirdly engrossed. <laughs> it be over by now, but I got a while to go. I give away the ending, but you don't wanna know. What's up, boys? Welcome to the stream. Okay, it's a change. Um, day 15, 215. Alright, so this dude's been in here for a while. So is this like an escape the room? Or uh <laughs> Okay. So I can cry. So he's he's not happy about being in this room. Damn, Bo, you're getting meta. So you're in this like 2D setup, right? <laughs> like I can't control the camera. Just imagine filming this knowing what you're gonna do. I don't know. I'll cry, I guess, again. <laughs> I love the quote, I'll cry, I guess, again. Dante, thank you for the four months. Appreciate it. So, he was sleeping in the room, like, the whole time, or...? How we feeling out there tonight? <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. I am not feeling good. Fair. Wake up at 11.30, feeling like a bag of shit. Oh, God. Look in the mirror, say, what's up, you useless fuck? Stop. This is my life. I just feel so called out. And that's fine. I'm ready to confront my flaws. But there's so much here. And I already know. I need to work on some things. So you feeling like shit? Tell me if you feeling like shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, is that... That's the end of the song already? Damn. Jeffrey Bezos. <laughs> Check it back in with billionaires. The outfits are fascinating me again. <laughs> it's 
so short. Stunning 8K resolution meditation. What is he singing about here? Backlash to the backlash to the thing that's just begun. That's a really cool line there. There it is again, that funny feeling. Just again, why is this making me emotional? I Email Colonel Sanders, easy answer, civil war. Bo with an acoustic vibe is amazing. There it is again, that funny feeling. This chorus is making me emotional. Is this about to make me cry? Reading Pornhub's terms of service. <laughs> is this gonna make me cry? Pornhub terms of service. Total disassociation, fully out your mind. I remember the first time I had a disassociative episode and it was absolutely terrifying. That on a parent summer air in early fall. Damn, dude, you sound incredible. It's such a nice, gorgeous voice. Hey, what can you say? We were overdue. But it'll be over soon. You wait. This reminds me of two of my favorite artists. Iron and Wine and Bright Eyes, like, combined. I love this end out because it got a bit more serious. I was expecting something like really serious towards the end of the special and I'm still here for everything that's happening. So, so, so I... <laughs> so I've been working on this uh, special for a year. Wow. So it was six months and at when, uh, when he turned 30. Damn. Yeah, this would be very stressful. So I've been working on this special for um, a year now which is um, a lot longer than I anticipated working on it when I started. Okay, so again, full disclosure, a little bit of relating to this because there have been many times where I've felt that really frustrated build of just not being able to say something right, do something right. And it can be something really simple, like here, he's just trying to say a sentence. And if you screw that up enough, it drives you crazy. And I have done literally exactly what he just did. I've done that and it's wild to see myself a lot in this special. So I've been working on... <laughs> Yeah, man. I am not um well. Damn, dude. This has gotten a lot more intense towards the end here, hey. <laughs> Again, I don't know why I'm feeling emotion. I think it's just the combination of everything. Stop, I'm literally gonna cry and I don't know why. I have no idea why I'm getting upset. I think it's just like a lot of weird elements of empathy combined with just this weird, I guess, journey sort of thing. You say the ocean is rising like I give a shit. You say the whole Stop, world I don't know how to deal with this on camera, guys. <laughs> I love this song so much, dude. I just feel mind blown by how he's managed to uh, make me feel such strong emotions. By like really taking me along on this whole thing with him. Very curious how we're gonna end because All Eyes On Me felt like the finale song to me. I think I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Fair enough, dude. Um, 
possible uh, ending song that is not finished. Oh my god, did he write this at the start? So long, goodbye. Oh, but he's singing it later. That's dope. A joke when no one's laughing in the background. Stop, I don't want to cry again, man. <laughs> Where I started 14 years ago This is not at all what I thought I'd be getting hit with <laughs> I swear to God that all I've ever wanted Was a little bit of everything All of <laughs> Referencing the earlier songs panic, so call me up and tell me a joke. I love the like Callbacks to earlier songs I hope he does it for almost all of them at least I'm like, one thing will push me over the edge. <laughs> oh, it's him thinking about going outside. <laughs> That's a cool choice. Oh man. And he wants to go back in, but he can't. The laughter while he does that is somewhat terrifying for me. Well, wasn't that a lot? I didn't really know what I was in for, but I didn't think it would be quite like that. I felt like that was really so beautifully done. Everything was well written, well produced, looked so good, designed so well, and honestly told an incredible story that just worked and evoked so much from me. So with that said, so with that said, I think I'm gonna uh, wrap up this video because I feel a lot. And that was just intense. And I just want to say, Bo, if you ever watch this, sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, well done. That was incredible and made me feel a lot. And I think some of it's because I relate and some of it's because I simply empathize or, or sympathize. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button. If you did, please don't forget... If you did, if you did, please don't forget to click that like button. And as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya.